Hi, do you use OBS to stream your scenes on Microsoft Teams as a virtual webcam but you are not satisfied with the quality of the result? Well, a few days ago I found a technique that may help you to improve drastically the quality of your streaming. Take a look. I'll tell you how to go from this kind of quality, do you see there's a lot of blur, to this quality, using the same connection and the same hardware. Are you interested? <laughs> Follow me on this video. Hi. My name is Paolo, I'm a teacher in electronics and computer science. This is my first video on YouTube, I hope it will be useful for you. So let me know in the comments or with a like if you liked it, if you did like it. And um, this way I know that I can produce some more content like this. So let's go to the scene. The problem that you saw here is that uh, Microsoft Teams uh, uh, uses a lot of compression on um, the virtual webcams or in general to the webcams. So I tried in several ways uh, um, to overcome this and have a, a better quality of uh, results. And I show you again that with the same connection I can achieve this. So. Um, I tried uh, in several ways to overcome that, uh, for example, by trying to share a preview window on Microsoft Teams from OBS, but uh, it simply doesn't work, since uh, if the preview is minimized, the team will not update or render it, and uh, your students or your followers will just see a stuck uh, video or freezed one. So. Um, I also tried to keep uh, the OBS window small, let's take a look, uh, but uh, it uh, just uh, didn't work, uh, you can try this way, you right click, you select uh, window projector, preview, and uh, if, okay, <laughs> I'll show you better later, don't worry. So. Let's go back uh, to my desktop uh, and see what uh, we can try to do. So the technique um, is uh, um, to activate uh, a second uh, uh, monitor, but uh, a virtual one. Why a virtual one? Because uh, you can do the same with a physical monitor, but uh, during my lessons uh, or my presentations, I find uh, it uh, really more useful to have notes uh, here instead uh, of uh, uh, just using the preview for OBS. So, um, I'll uh, link uh, this in the description. Emma Uni, I don't know the pronunciation, uh, told us a technique to add a virtual monitor to our system. Be careful because it does work only on Windows 10. They say to download uh, driver for a virtual display, unpack, uh, unzip, uh, and then uh, install. Um, the difficult part uh, for someone uh, is that uh, you have to use the command line. I'll show you right now um, how you can do that uh, easily. So uh, let's put the browser on uh, the left uh, and on the right uh, we go here. So. Just follow the link in the descriptions here, download uh, the USB MMIDD version 2.zip, I save it uh, in my downloads directory, uh, as you can see I use a directory with uh, all the stuff uh, um, for what uh, I do daily for my lessons. Okay. Now you have uh, to uh, unzip the file, there is no installer provided. Um, I also took down the instruction and um, now let's go to the directory. 
Um, maybe I better remove uh, my webcam so you can see it better. Okay. Um, the instructions uh, um, are pretty easy. You can see them here on the left. Um, you have uh, to right click uh, while holding shift uh, to open uh, the command line as uh, an administrator. I'm using PowerShell, but uh, it's uh, really the same. We click uh, OK and we come here on the command line or the PowerShell. It is the same as I told you earlier. Let's uh, try the um, installation. Hello. First of all, we have to install the driver. The command is device installer. Uh, maybe I better use the 64 bit version or it doesn't work. Install USB MMIB. You are not seeing. It. Okay, and in fact, uh, it did take uh, the wrong file. We have uh, to take the one with the extension INF, and uh, after that, uh, USB MMIDD. Okay, you'll find uh, the exact uh, command line uh, on the link I share with you. Okay. Uh, since I run it as a, an administrator, I didn't uh, receive um, any request uh, to allow that. Um, we are not done yet. We have to activate uh, um, the virtual monitor. To do that, uh, we have to use uh, this uh, other command, device installer 64, enable IDD1. Okay, maybe you heard a, a sound in the background. Um, now we, we have um, another virtual monitor. To um, see this monitor, I go back to my desktop, right click and go on display settings. As you can see now, uh, we have uh, the first monitor for my laptop. The second monitor you can see here on the right and the third monitor that uh, is virtual. Um, the display resolution may um, have to be adjusted. Uh, now I think it is good for what I have to do with this demonstration. Let's press detect. Uh, it seems okay. No scaling. Uh, we are almost done now. Um, okay. Now, let's go on uh, uh, Microsoft Teams and uh, let's start uh, a meeting to try this out. So now I am on Microsoft Teams. I'll try to join uh, a meeting to test uh, uh, the new recording setup. The first thing uh, we have to do from here. Hello, I'm using the face cam of my computer. That's why uh, the quality is not so good. To select uh, other actions. Now, first, uh, I go here to share my virtual desktop. It is uh, this one. It says uh, generic non PNP monitor. And this is the virtual monitor created to share the preview from OBS. So I select it. Okay. In this moment, uh, we can project uh, in our monitor to see if uh, everything is all right. Uh, the virtual cam that uh, I'm uh, using. So you see the green screen. This will be what uh, Will be recorded to Microsoft Teams and now we should be able also to share the desktop here. Just the plain desktop with nothing fancy. 
So I go to Microsoft Teams, I click start recording, select, um, we can also use the second desktop here, or also send to OBS the cam I told you earlier. And now let's uh, stop the recording to see what happens. Okay, now we can go back uh, to my desktop view. So you can see what's happening. I go on the chat log. After a minute or two, there is uh, uh, here the recording of what we have done. I select it. It will open that uh, in a window of, of uh, your browser. In my case, I use Microsoft Edge. And uh, maybe you could be prompted uh, to enter your credentials. So let's see what happens. Mm -hmm.